Okay, listen. Here we go. It only took us 40 minutes to start playing 5D chess on the 5D chess stream. Uh, but here we are, better late than never. Uh, we're playing a game of Reverse Royalty, first game of the stream, against our very own Tones, aka uh, AM Tony. Tones uh, is actually the person who suggested that we play Reverse Royalty. Reverse Royalty, for anyone who doesn't know, is just like regular 5D chess, uh, except that the king is a, just a normal pleb piece. You can see he's very dressed down for the occasion. Uh, the king moves around and doesn't... It's just a piece that you can trade and it's fine. The piece that you're trying to checkmate, the royal piece, as it were, in this game mode, is the queen, uh, called the royal queen. This is, um, is the common king royal queen. So you're trying to mate the queen, which is interesting because the strongest piece by far in the game, especially in 5D chess, much more so than in regular chess, the queen, is also the piece that you have to defend. So it's, it's really good. Uh, it's my f probably my favorite game mode, uh, and Tony recommended it himself for our opening game here of the stream. So we're gonna we're gonna sink our teeth into it. Okay, here we go. What are we doing here? For as much as I love Reverse Royalty and as much of it as I've played, I've never really thought about opening anything to do with the opening. Really, um, you don't really have to worry about sack anything. But you know what? We're, we're gonna play the best move in chess, which is uh, Knight F6. But in this case, it's Knight C6 because the Royal Queen is the piece that we have to defend, etc. I can't imagine trying to checkmate a queen in 2D chess. This variant, or a similar variant herein... <laughs> oh no, Knight F3 gonna concede? Well, it is Knight C3, but I get what you mean. Um, the question when we see G3 is always, do we counter Frappuccino? I haven't messed with it very much. I don't... I'm not a huge fan of the counter frappuccino, but you know what? I sometimes have difficulty developing this pawn, and the common king does a good job of covering the set. You know, let's let's counter frappuccino. Why not? Let's do it. CF. What's the difference? My thoughts exactly. No, but I think that this game mode exists in regular chess. It is very hard. It's it, it's really hard to checkmate a a two D queen. That's for sure. Uh, however, uh, because of the way that pass checks work in 5D chess, it's actually quite easy <laughs> to checkmate a 5D queen, even with a 5D queen. Obviously not possible in regular chess. You can't checkmate like a king with a king um, in regular chess, but you can checkmate a queen. Tones. Tones. Okay, so we're obviously going to take here. If he doesn't want to lose his rook, then he has to bring his knight out. And then we ruin his pawn structure. That seems fine. Of course, we've got our own weakness here on the queen side, which I really don't appreciate. It's possible that he could take advantage of this. You also can't castle queen side, which is what I would like to do. Um, it, like in this, or castle king side. You can't castle at all in this game mode. <laughs> Uh, here, there, here, there, captures, captures, here, there, mate. <laughs> Just call it here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all, all chest notation is from there to here, yeah. One here, two here, three there, dot, dot, dot. Um, that makes sense. Except that it really, it really boxes in this knight. I, is this worth? This can't possibly be worth. Okay. I think we just develop normally. We develop rationally. Um, I don't want my knight to block my f-pawn here in this case. Uh, man, that's weird. Um, yeah, this knight's going to have a little bit of trouble getting off the ground. But maybe let's just play f5 and see where the knight takes us. This knight. On g8. Wait, is Common King unable to castle? Correct. No castles of any description in this game mode. Can the king checkmate, though? This king can checkmate. Actually, the king is really good at checkmating. Because all you have to do is... Um, it's like, it's nor the king is pretty rubbish like from a 2D perspective, right? But the fact that it has access to 
uh, like diagonals, triagonals, and quadragonals actually makes it like a really good defender and attacker. Um, all you have to do is get it adjacent to a, an enemy queen and have it be defended, and that's checkmate, right? Uh, it's kind of, I mean, that sounds like it might be easier said than done, but um, give us a second here. I don't really appreciate the idea. Do we want to trade? I think that we can put good pressure onto this because he can't defend. Okay, so takes, takes. Takes, takes probably, right? Because otherwise, yeah, because if takes like push, then push this and then there's no real way that he can defend the rook. He can bring the knight out here, but then I'd happily trade to get the queen out here and then shenanigans can ensue. Especially if, I mean, I'm getting ahead of myself, but there's, there are a lot of 5D tactics, I think, to get at that queen if we can get it out here. Um, takes, takes. And then knight out. He doesn't have a light square bishop to defend this. Uh, and if it's a matter of him pushing this pawn up, because he can't defend it with the knight and he can't defend it with the... I'm, we're, we definitely take here, right? Like, for sure, for sure. Put pressure on with the knight. If he tries to defend, we will very happily sack uh, pieces in to open up this diagonal, I think, right? Am I crazy? I mean, the real Chad play here... Um, is one of those, but I mean, let's not be silly. And if he pushes this further, that's like real good. I don't, I don't really know what my opponent's plan is here. I also really need to use the restroom <laughs> quite badly. Just use that notation and blindfolded play. That's pretty good. But yeah, if you have if you have like a king two squares away from the opponent's queen, um. A lot of times that's a mate threat because you can travel one turn into the past to you know your common king here and it's defended by this common king and it checks the queen from the original timeline in the past so the queen can't even run away so king is a very powerful defensive and offensive tool in this game mode like it has low mobility but it's actually it's got fantastic utility king confirmed best piece in chess um Captures here. Takes, takes. I guess I want to take with the knight here. I mean, it's tones, so he's probably got something spicy cooked up. Back of mind. But, um, what do I have to worry about? I mean, I guess the F-pawns are... You know what? I think we just do this. I think we just do this. Pick our pawn back up. By that, I mean go up a pawn. I mean, listen, pawn grubbing has, on numerous occasions, uh, led to our demise. But, you know, if we take Ryan's advice, <laughs> see a free piece, take a free piece, dot, 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 profit. So that's fine. It is disappointing that the Royal Queen can't castle. Uh, I think I've heard arguments made about it being like a UI issue, but just like in regular, just like in um, ch like Chess 960, for example, where there are like wacky. Hold that thought. Take with check. Take the knight. We capture this with check. Take the knight. Th what? Or oh, sorry, I I keep calling it. I always call rooks knights, I don't know why. Uh, we're just gonna rattle this off without even thinking about it, really. It's possible that I should be scared here, uh, but the thing is, I'm not. I'm not very scared here. I'm not even scared to open this up because we can just re-block with the... If he checks here as well, we can deliver a check here Uh, this looks terrifying for my opponent. Also, if he... I don't know. 
I mean, listen, it's 5D chess, right? You can get wrecked at any point in time. Um, it's the nature of the game. Maybe there's like some insane game-winning travel. I, I fail to see. Take the knight, the one that started on H1. Yeah, the take the H1 knight. <laughs> it's my favorite knight to capture. Um, I really don't know where that came from, man. It's as old as... I, I really don't know why I call rooks knights. I never call knights rooks. <laughs> I only sometimes call rooks knights. I don't know why. Maybe it's like we were talking about the linguistic experiment with like Baba and Kiki, you know? Maybe for me, it's just like hardwired evolutionarily for this to be a knight somehow. I don't know. At any point in time? Very well done, Andre. <laughs> Bonus points. Alessa's is crazy. Hey, crazy. How's it going, man? What's up? What's up? Yeah, that could be a thing. Oh, yeah. It was Sudoku chess with the forbidden rule. I forgot. Uh, just found out my schedule for today has changed. I have to go in two hours max. You have to go in two hours max. Uh, if we want to do my challenge before that, I'm game. I also understand I have a better push another time. That's unfortunate because my housemate, we have to do the IRL thing pretty soon. Um, can I challenge you to 3D minball? <laughs> you, you can. You can challenge me to 3D minball, crazy. I'm guessing you mean space cadet pinball. That, that actually sounds like a ton of fun. Uh, ooh, that's actually kind of wacky. Now, see, what is the... Hold on, everyone, everyone calm down, everyone calm down. I think this is the turn to kick this, because uh, our bishop here prevents knight f6 check, which otherwise is really annoying. Um, and no other squares seem fantastic. And then we can maybe, I don't know, move our common king up or something like that. But uh, being able to provide a check here is kind of like the main thing that I want to be able to do. Because moving here seems not fantastic. He has enabled... This, this does enable his queen to phase onto this bishop. It's not the right turn, though. We're just gonna, we're just gonna kick it. We're just gonna kick it. Um, I guess we might have to do it later. Yeah, like, we can power through it after this game or do it another time. I'm happy either way. It's Sudoku chess, so it should be fast. And this rule, I think, makes it a bit longer. Looking forward to it. Can we get sub-badges past one year? Unfortunately, no. Uh, I, I think I need to be partnered to unlock greater than one year sub badges but hey if i ever get partnered it is retroactive <laughs> i mean we're we're a good ways away i need to just over triple my average viewership i think uh or something like that <laughs> but you know maybe someday we'll see i don't stream nearly enough i think to to be able to get there um but never say never i need a refill soon <laughs> um i think if we can't do it this stream Maybe we can power through. We, we might have to do Crokinole after this stream. I don't know. Um, but, but we'll see. <laughs> well, I, I think in all likelihood, we'll probably have to... We'll, we'll probably have to um, do it next week. Which is fine with me if it's fine with you. Uh, Celo's here. How's it going, Celo? Do you know Space Cadet is just one of the three boards of a set? The full game's called Full Tilt Pinball. You know, I think that that, like, arcane knowledge... Uh, existed somewhere in my brain at some point in time um should i just should i just make the chattis plays conceivable okay the only issue is that i have to i really have to defend this square quite badly it is imperative that i defend this square Moving that king is clever because now I can't travel onto it and check the queen on this board. I, I see what you've done here, Tones. Um, I think I want to do this just to cover my bases against wonky travels. Because, you know, knights are spooky in 5D chess. But, I mean, this bishop is going to do work, isn't it? Um, like if we can bait, if we can get like a queen out here and then 
do like a rook lift and then like c6 and then queen here like five turns after his queen goes here that'd be pretty sick maybe we force it now no i i'm i'm af i'm afraid of travels we do this first and then we'll probably pull the bishop out here try and goad the royal queen out here that's that sort of situation because yeah, actually i think it's going to be kind of difficult for him to close up the diagonal he doesn't have any pawns he doesn't his bishop isn't activated he's gonna have to open up his queen to get the you know i don't know um is this the megalovania remix that the pope listened to while watching juggalos perform hi dan <laughs> we, we can do the crokinole challenge right after this game of 5d chess <laughs> um everyone's got a tight schedule today but you know we got out of respect for the the housemate betrayal nah it's fine thanks Sonoy. <laughs> I'm all free myself <laughs> well that's good because we're probably going to do opus magnum a little bit later What could go wrong? Chat. That wasn't a meme. That was an actual question. What? <laughs> Excuse me? You said chest pleasure night after this? I'm sorry, it's annoying. I, uh... I didn't consider how long the 5D chess iceberg thing would take. Or how short uh, Dan's time frame was. So I, I, I formally apologize to Sonoy. I think we abandoned this timeline. Who's we? <laughs> or, or do you mean the timeline where the Pope listened to a Megalovania remix while watching Juggalos perform? Whoa! Excuse me, sir. What the? Is that allowed? Well, we've got mate in a number of turns as a direct result of this. Actually, we could have mate in very few turns. Oh, hold the hold the ding dang phone. Hold on. Chat. Hold on. What if I told you I had big brain plays? Um. Well, oh, okay, hold on. Do we bait our opponent's queen out? We actually actually want to do that next turn. Oh, but we can no, Okay, hold on. Pawn out. Okay, here are my thoughts. First and foremost, if we can travel a bishop to here on this timeline, we've won the game. Pretty much, right? Um, assuming his queen doesn't move this next turn. So maybe we should do something that... What if we push this pawn and kick this knight? We could bait the opponents. Alternatively, we can bait our opponent's queen here by traveling to here on this board. Then here happens, then we... Actually, I kind of like this because it enables the cheekiest <laughs> queen over and then royal queen mate. Um, that'd be fun, right? Oh, what's our opponent's game plan? Probably they want to block with the knight, right? Like, that's kind of the only way that this queen is ever going to be safe, like, ever. 
And if he blocks with the knight this turn, then I no longer have access to that queen. So it, it worked. It just totally worked. I can get a cheesy mate here. I think it's going to be too obvious, though. My opponent's going to realize. I will be checking my opponent on this board if I move here next turn and then travel to here on this board. Forced only move captures because it checks this queen in the past. Then my opponent's queen is here. Then I can check them here. Pull them out. And then maybe I'll have access to... Let's try this. I think it's irresponsible. I think that it's belligerent. Um, but it's fun. Let me know when it's croak time. All right, we'll do Dan. Thanks for hanging in there. Opus Magnum looks amazing. Blackwing Bird, Opus Magnum is amazing. That's exactly what we... We read him like a book, chat. Um... Actually, I, I I like this idea. It's not good. We lose a piece. We lose two pieces. What do we actually checkmate with? Maybe it's not a good idea. We could also take this. Take this. Could take this. Then there's no way he can close the diagonal, right? I do like that idea. Isn't this so, isn't this so cheeky though? Okay, okay, candidate moves. Listen, they're all varying levels of spice. I suppose this is a candidate move. This forces queen out and then we can check which forces queen out. Um, because if queen doesn't go out, then, because queen's here, then we check, then here is immediate mate. So it does force queen out all the way to here. And we can probably mate from there, right? So this is spicy. Um, this is a spicy meatball. This can potentially force open the diagonal. Um, then again, it doesn't threaten anything mind-blowing. We just win a pawn, right? And it's like the double death pawns, which don't even do anything. Maybe that's not even good. We could play queen here to threaten mate in question mark. One, two, three on this board, here on that board. Yeah, it, it would threaten mate in one if we moved our royal queen here. Then what does he do? Pushes this pawn. Then what do we do? Inconclusive. I think the most fun option is probably is probably this one, right? It just seems the most fun. Simple as that. Because here he has to block both this diagonal, which I think will probably be difficult. It does require sacrificing both of our Dark Square Bishops, which doesn't feel fantastic, but we do have the defensive Common King here, uh, which makes me feel better about our position. You know what? Uh, yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go for fun. Okay. So to be clear, it's not only a check presently on this queen. This bishop also checks this queen on the original timeline. Isn't it forced mate if you move your royal queen? Uh, explain. Isn't it forced mate if I move my royal queen? In what way? Yeah, that's just a regular check. Uh, the only issue is that um, if he just moves out of the way, then I believe this is checks this uh, this queen in the past. Um, I mean, it, it definitely does. Uh, so I think he needs to take here, and then we can and then we can fuck around. Didn't force mate? Excuse me, force mate? Like I get mated? I don't know what you mean, Isaac. Maybe. I, I overlook things on a frequent basis. <sighs> Exiled Queens is so funny. It's funny the right word. 
Exiled Queens is many things. <laughs> it's soul crushing. It's infuriating. Um, it's uninspired. Uh, it is cowardice. Um, it, it is evil. Okay. Here, and it is funny. It is funny. It is funny. All right. All right, chat. Now we win. Question, of course, is what the best way of achieving said win is. So, in a few turns, we can do the wacky thing where we... Yeah, this... Knight can't block this diagonal. Along this triagonal, we can, like, push this pawn, push this rook up, push this pawn up, and then queen h1 is mate. Sorry, queen a8, my bad. Uh, we're black. Um... In the meantime, what do we do? I guess we push this pawn, maybe. Push this pawn. Moon first. Moon first. Maybe I was seeing something, I don't know. It's possible that we are both seeing things. Sorry, do do you mean force mate for white or for black? Who who's who is mating who in in, in your before I dive into speculation here? Right, since Croak is next, I gotta run, but very much look forward to the VOD. Alright, sounds good, David. Thanks for coming around. Much appreciate. 5D chess was the first get, uh, first time in ages that I questioned my ability to count to four. Ryan says, I really wish I knew how important counting was going to be for strategy games back in grade one. I'd have put, I would have paid more attention. Yeah, my, my specialty uh, when I did like competition mathematics and stuff in middle and high school was counting. Um, this is like combinatorics. It's basically counting. So I, I thought ahead. I prepared. Uh, for black. Okay, so you're saying that uh, instead of... Um, in, instead of bishop here, that's where our candidate move was this, right? Well, no, cause it had to be after, um, because the this bishop had to move out of the way for the queen to be. So you're saying a bishop here, and then instead of the travel, queen here. Why would it be forced? Uh, because he could simply push this pawn. Um, that's the main thing that I'm talking about. You push this pawn, like, yes, he can't move this knight. Uh, actually, the pin of this knight is probably something that I should have taken advantage of, like, by bringing out this bishop or something like that, but, um, that prevents my queen from being able to go to the mating square, but I'm not sure exactly what you're referring to. Okay, he is defending this square... Uh, sorry. What is he defending? He's defending this square, which isn't the square that I'm going to meet him on anyway. So I'm slightly perplexed by that, but that's fine. I think we pull our bishop into position to deliver a nasty check. Where's this queen? Is on f3 f4 so next turn will be f5 so then we'll have mate here next turn right um be king king up here actually i don't know what we do here probably try to activate this um i try to activate this ship here right Yeah, why not? I like it. We've still got the wonky. Actually, I'm going to have to start prepping for that soon if I want to do the wonky quadragonal mate, right? This is going to be open for days, so we can, you know... We can also get this bishop to this square here to mate as well. Um, let's see. Try and work out if queen e8 into the past 
or queen e8 into the present at that moment would have been better for my force mate. Uh -huh. Already miscounted for the quadragonal? Ah, well. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. I think we're in a good spot. Because he's got to waste a bunch of time up here trying to not lose, right? That's fine. Thankfully, this knight is totally dominated by this bishop. Imagine if I could count better. Imagine. Um, okay. This works for us. Like, it works very well for us, right? Because we then check the next turn. And this knight still defends. Sorry. <laughs> I'm calling everything a knight now. Let's just do that, actually. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys ever played the Rui Lopez? <laughs> knight e4. Knight f3. <laughs> knight. Fucking wherever it goes. <laughs> b5. <laughs> um... Well, what, whatever, you, you, you get the joke. I, I didn't say any of the moves right, but. By the Cement Chess Company, oops, all knights, yeah. No, but this Common King, um, the, the Common King defense against everywhere, crucial. Yeah, this is gonna check him next turn, right? So he's he's in true bowl. Calling everything a knight now? <laughs> Cement the Tech 2022, yeah. <laughs> I've sorry, I've started a movement. It does make most of my misplays much better. You can't really lose a night for night exchange, you know. <laughs> oh no, my knight sounds much better than oh no, my queen as well. Oh shit. I hung the knight. You know. At least we get a knight in a turn. I'm dead curious to know if anyone has considered that possibly it should be tetragonal. Uh, but then it would be biagonal, right? Bi and tetra go, they're like Greek, um, whereas di and quad are Latin, right? Um, you know what I mean? Since the dragon is called dragon. Uh, doesn't this mate him? Am I, uh, am I, am I taking cuckoo pills? Am I cuckoo for crazy puffs? Uh, let's just defend this. I don't know what this does. Um. What do we do here? I guess set up a check, maybe? Or we could push this pawn. Hold on, where's the... Where does the knight leave? Okay, knight, so open here we have e3, e4, e5, um, so it's going to be e6 next turn. You know what? Yeah, let's do this. This is a, this is a pretty chad move, right? Embrace the chad. It doesn't enable him to check us, but I'll just move my uh, I'll just move my queen here anyway. Then he can't capture. Ooh, the queen travel! Wow, he captures the bishop. Is it really only? Yeah, it's three turns into the pass. All right. I mean, how many turns do we have? And there's no way he can capture, right? Yeah. Okay. How do, how do we inflict maximum, maximum pain? We have another travel, crucially. This 
Let's see another travel too. Okay, what we need to do here, like first and foremost, is not lose. Let's think. We bring many checks. It's an appealing option. Also, I need to, yeah, I need to be careful about, like, open lines. To, thankfully, it doesn't look like there are any open lines to my queen. This does threaten maiden one. So it forces him to capture. It's kind of spooky. <gasps> but then this knight, okay, this common king will then wreck him, right? Okay. I feel good about this. I think this forces this capture. And then if he doesn't move his royal queen, then this guy. He's here. This is covered. Thankfully, I don't think he can mate us with another time. It's our turn here anyway. But this knight is going to check his queen after our next turn here. Um, pawn check is best. We'll see. Who's Matt playing against? I'm playing against Tones. AM Tony. Uh, this does win us the game, right? No, it doesn't. Because we didn't make the... This isn't the original timeline. Um... Let's think. Right? Maybe actually we should have kept his queen there. Yeah, because he can just move it, and then there's no danger of the... Not in I mean, he's still not going to be able to... Really, all, all we have to do is not lose. This queen here... This, so then this, so then I don't have to worry about that. I just keep giving checks, I think, right? If the queen was... went somewhere... Well... Unfortunately here we can't do like a really cool check. I think this mates him? Oh man, I thought I checked for the tones found it. Wait, no, that's only a present. All I have to do is this, right? Uh, and then this. Okay. <laughs> All right, he he found the the cheeky triagonal check. Um. Wow, I saw this was open, and I thought, what? Are, how could he possibly? And he, okay, it was the, the queen here that he saw, but he couldn't go far enough back for it to be a quadragonal, so it's fine. All we had to do is close up the, there we go, okay. Oh, we hit the pawn check too, I didn't realize. Okay. All right. Wow, okay. Common king, double pass check. Pawn check, you don't see too often <laughs> to, to, win a, to win a reverse royalty game, but GG Tones, that was a fun game. That was a crazy opening. <laughs> That was insane. That was insane. <laughs> Holy butts. That was a fun game to start off the stream.